I, I, wa I want to ask, what is, how do you go about finding the right person or the right uh, set of musicians for every album? So whether it's with the Alan Parsons project or what you're doing now, uh, what is that process like? Can you tell me a little bit about that? Because the selection of, obviously, the musicians and the singers kind of give each album its own unique sound and mood and all of that. So what is that process like? Um, it's, it's, it's a good question. Um, we, we've been very lucky um, over the years to, to choose keys for the songs that we record in advance of knowing who's actually going to sing them. So we, we, we play, I think we perhaps play a little bit safe with uh, vocal range. Um, I remember one exception was way back on the, on the Eve album. Um, there's a song called Don't, Don't Hold Back. Um, we had heard all assu assumed it was going to be a male vocal and then suddenly we decided to make it a female vocal. And uh, we, we brought in Claire Torrey, who's the, the famous voice of yeah. Dark Side of the Moon. And uh, she, it, it was just not right for her for her key. So we literally almost rewrote the song <laughs> to be in, in her range. Mm -hmm. So, uh, but normally, normally we, we're, we're lucky. We, um, we, we, uh, choose a key that uh, that will suit you know most singers if we know for sure that uh, i've got a, a vocal with an ex uh, a vocalist with an extended range then we'll maybe shake it up a, a few steps but yeah we've been very lucky in that respect mm -hmm. 